See you later. Bye. I'm off. See you in a bit. Right. Oh. Good morning, Tatsters. Saturday morning. Chucking it down, as you can see. Oh. Let's get in the car. Oh, Saturday morning, it's a reasonable time and it's chucking it down. But luckily I'm not off to a boot sale. I'm off to my second ever pre-loved kilo sale. I think it was February, I went to my first one, all the vintage clothing, like I got my ski suits, uh, sheepskin jackets, all that sort of cool stuff. And it's another one near me. It's in Southend, my hometown where I grew up. So we're off to the seaside. Not that we'll be on the beach today. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, strap you in, take you around, see what cool sort of clothing I can find. So if you're into the electronics and that sort of cool stuff, then this might not be the video for you, but we've got to adapt. So in reselling, you can't just rely on one thing. I've got my vintage clothing head on today and hopefully we do get some really cool things like hopefully football shirts, ski suits, ski jackets, um, and whatever else I like really. Hopefully some stuff for myself as well. Again, push for time, but I have booked a queue jumping ticket so I can go right to the front, which is handy. And yeah, let's get going. Here you now, five minutes to spare, so I count that as really early for me. <laughs> Not much of a queue, but I think the queue's inside. Not that it matters, because I'm jumping that queue with my special ticket. I'm not going to hang around anymore. I'm going to plug you in. I've got my chest mount on. Didn't bring the rucksack. So first time I've used this for a few months. So hopefully get some good footage where I'm in there. And yeah, so you can see what it's like. If you don't know, it's basically tons and tons of vintage clothing, jackets, coats, trousers, shoes, everything. And you pay £15 every kilo, which to think of it is quite expensive, but you have to be quite picky get the right things and there is profit to be made plenty of profit as I made from the last one um, so yeah let's get in there stop waffling
Whew. Uh, what one do I want? That one. Three bags full. <laughs> okay, so back in the car, sort of in and out quite quickly. I was probably in there sort of 20 minutes, half hour. All in all, just then I spent 106 pound, I think it was, plus the two advanced ones. So I spent roughly 136 pound. So quite an investment. I do recommend checking these pre-loved sales out, especially during the winter if boot sales aren't on. It's just another sort of sourcing opportunity and you get really cool vintage stuff. We'll cut to I'm at home. I try and lay out or wear again what I bought. Sort of show you a bit more item by item, why I picked it up, and just to show you what I'm sort of planning to get back or listing it for at least. Might do a couple more charity shops where I'm here in South End. Would be rude not to. So I'll see you back at mine. So I'm back. A couple of weeks later, keep putting this off. So I'm back home now. Here's all my pickups, two bags full. I spent a total of 133 pound and 50p. That includes getting in a couple of cheaper kilos and then the coats. And I think it was another three kilos of miscellaneous stuff. So this part of the video, I'm gonna go through everything I've got piece by piece. Again, if you're into your vintage clothing and stuff, this is for you. If you like electronics and that then uh, yeah stick around it might be interesting still but to start with I thought I'd go through the sheepskin coats as I've shown them before one thing I did learn from last time was pick up proper men's sizes last time I got a couple of women's or small men's and they're not worth as much not as much as I thought anyway they still sold but I think it was only 35 to 40 pound getting big men's stuff is a lot more profitable as I'll show you also I made sure I've got ones with name tags and sizes as well to make it a lot easier to sell. So they all look similar. But the first one was made in Scotland. You saw on the tag there, made in Scotland. I think this is an extra large men's. I'll put it on for you. If I can do the buttons. Come on. Yeah, let's put this on. So I'm about six foot or 5'11", medium build. So, and this is a bit big for me. Yeah, probably an extra large men's, I'd say. Made in Scotland, obviously classic Dalboy design. Uh, Pre-loved kilo, the coats are £15 each per item. So they don't actually weigh these because these are way more than a kilo. These would probably be two, two and a half kilos. So they're set price at 15 So obviously all these, I think it was four I got in total, £15 each. This should be listed, now we're bang into season. Depop sent me an email a couple of weeks ago that people actually start buying their winter coats in the last week of August, which we're about to hit next week. So I've got to get these listed ASAP. I've already pictured them. This one should be turning into hopefully bottom end 50, top end 80, pushing 90 maybe. But uh, we'll soon see, they're banging season, the right time to be listing them. So hopefully that topper end. Same again, sheepskin coat, big men's size. This one was exclusive menswear to Benjamin Simon of Leeds and London lambskin products. There we go. So genuine vintage again, made in England, which is always a sign of quality and that's what people are after. None of the uh, foreign stuff. I'm pretty sure this one's extra large again. They're all slightly too big for me, I believe. Uh, Still too big, maybe more of a large. But again, 15 pounds into minimum 50 in season. Again, 60 to 80, it's probably more realistic. But I will do a sales roundup. So make sure you have liked and subscribed to the channel to find out what these do go for. Last sheepskin, slightly lighter in color this one. This is a size 38 chest. So I'm not really sure what that is. Let's try this one on as well. That's more a bit of me, I think. Yeah, there we go, I think this is more of a medium men's. <laughs> Same again, really good clean condition, made in England, just classic design, 15 pound, minimum 50 again. Standard, nice easy listing, sell similar. There shouldn't be any problems making profit on this. Last lot of the 15 pound coats is something slightly different. 
This is one to uh, keep an eye on, see how I get on, because I'm not really sure myself. Here's a Aquila. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Aquila, sort of bomber leather jacket. They also have a metal uh, slogan or logo on the breast. Nice sort of golden inlay or lining. Size 56, which I'm not sure what that means. But we'll try it on. Yeah, I think this is swamping me a bit again. But well, not too bad. Yeah, slightly big, probably, again, large, extra large. Sort of a baggier fit under the armpits. But again, this was on the 15 pound rail. Obviously genuine leather, genuine vintage. But not sure what I'm gonna get. Off the top of my head, 45 to 50. But again, it's in season. Should get that, maybe a bit more, but again, Keep an eye on the channel to see what I do get. Yeah. Everything now is all loose on the rails. There's like t-shirts, there's bottoms, there's coats, bags, there's everything. But it's all on rails, so you know what you're looking for. There's just thousands of items. So this is the other stuff. The first thing to show you, because everything else is in here, in the bag section, this stuck out like a beautiful sore thumb. <laughs> really cool vintage Nike gym bag. I haven't seen one like this before. It says since 1972, but I doubt it's from the 70s. Designed to meet the performance needs of world class athletes. So, no idea. But it looks cool, it's in really good clean condition again. This was weighed, so I think out of the weighed stuff, everything owes me on average £10 ish each. So, probably paying up again for these bits, but they're all genuine vintage, all nice and clean, so I don't mind paying up. Price wise for this one, no idea again. Probably shoot 35 to 45 maybe, see how that gets on. If it doesn't sell, lower the price or I'll keep it. So there's that one and everything else is inside this. Ah, first thing, it's a nice hideous coat. Bosh. You saw these on my last video from the South End pre love Kilo. It's a nice sort of very loud and leery 90s, 80s ski suit ski coat I mean I think this is my size nice medium size Whoa. look at that see me coming a mile off really good clean condition the zips work that's one thing to check is the zips as there is a coat in here with a dodgy zip but I remember to check that this time I think last time there's a couple of issues or a couple of things but yeah take your time make sure you are 100% sure on what you're buying because you are paying up a bit then on average this is only about 10, 11 pounds. This should be an easy 50 pound again. This will probably sell on Depop, all the young trendy millennials will be over this hopefully. There is a link to all my different shops in the description, including my Depop and eBay store. So check them out, follow them, so you can obviously keep an eye on what I'm selling, see how they get on, or if you want to buy yourself, that would be much welcomed. So yeah, good start here. Unfortunately, this was the only ski related item. The others are more sensible looking. Or our own coats. I'll do the last coat. It's not really vintage, but it was a good brand. A good brand that I'm not sure how to pronounce. I think it's Burgess. Obviously make good quality outdoor wear. I've sold this brand before and it fetches good strong money. So I saw it on the rail and even though it's not vintage necessarily, I knew it was a quality brand, but this is the issue I'm having. I checked one zip, I didn't realise there was a second zip that's actually faulty. That zips right up. But the slightly outer zip was broken and it's actually come off now. So that's the only issue, but it is still able to button up, which is a slight bonus. So even though there is one of the zips broken, uh, the button up covers that and it is still zipped up underneath. So it will affect the price a little bit, but I shouldn't think it would cause too much hassle, I don't think. But then if you're paying up for a nice quality coat, you want it all to work, like, really. So, not sure again on this one. Uh, again, average £10, £11 it owes me. I should be shooting again 45 50 but with the zip, not sure. I have to accept offers if it hasn't budged for a while. But hopefully bottom line, 30 with the damaged zip. Now I love my sport and all these items are now in the sporty section. But really cool, I'll try them on, we'll try them on. 
it's nice sort of teal green and navy adidas sort of sports zip up top slightly large for me again so i think this is a large men's maybe extra large again yeah millennial sort of market again depop but uh yeah even depop or ebay this will go on i don't really sell anywhere else for clothing but again 10 pound into hopefully 30 35 for this one again nice and light so easy to post no problems with packaging so good healthy margin with the profits yeah really cool item this one stood out to me because of the large logo that looks really cool it's like the really bold stripes down the sides i think this is a medium men's so this one's gonna be hard to let go of because i think this is really cool i don't know if i look cool in it or not if it suits me i might keep it but if not again 30 35 pounds so it's me a tenner nice and light nice and easy to photograph and list so again a really cool item the puma jacket now again just like the other two adidas there's another sort of sport track suit top that i can't do the zip up on <laughs> come on ah, come on there we go slightly tricky zip there which is a bit worrying but it's been fine all the other times i've worn it Go medium men's same story again a nice sort of retro 90s early 2000s track suit top zip up nice and trendy probably a bit lower on this one 25 28 maybe 30 pushing my luck as it is a plainer design but still a really cool item that i'd be happy to wear myself puma again this one's slightly more cool than the other one nice black and purple combo here again medium to large men's keep repeating myself but cool 90s sports jacket just bang on trends bang on uh, season uh probably list this one 30 to 35 again and we'll take covers around 25 so doubled my money and a bit more the last one is my favorite out of the collection but this one is slightly different on the arm not sure what it's actually doing on the arm so if you do know let me know in the comments that'd be muchly appreciated probably a smaller men's or i've just said too much okay don't laugh at me too much <laughs> yeah a smaller men's we'll say uh a really cool sporty design on the arm again but this is the difference it's sort of three quarter length and then it stops here and there's an extended bit and also the extended bit has buttons so i don't know what that's for i don't know if you rolled it up i don't know if you pop them just together there not really sure but um i did think it was to do with the team juventus an italian team to start with because of this bit but I don't think it is. On the back, there's no sports related anything. Just carries on the pattern, but yeah, looks really cool. Really like this one. Probably own 35 to 40 on this one, personally. Um, I don't know if I'll get it, but it's my favorite out of the lot, just because of this difference, and I like the really bold, nice colors. So that's everything. I spent a grand total of 133 pound 50 on everything you just saw there. So I've paid up, but everything on average owes me about £11, 12p I've worked out. So overall, not too bad. From what I've spent, I've quickly worked out reservedly that I'm going to be listing everything here for around £505. But again, that's reservedly. From 130 to 500 that's a very good morning out. It only took me half hour drive, hour there, half hour back again so a couple of hours work there got some really cool retro items and a couple of keepers maybe i have to speak to my wife about that one <laughs> so yeah that ends this video hope you enjoyed it something a bit different to the boots out videos yeah let me know in the comments what's your favorite items or what you wouldn't have picked up necessarily or if you've ever been to one of these before this is the second one i've been to this year and i'm definitely going again i keep an eye on their dates when they're local yeah, I'll definitely be going again. I'll wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll stick the subscription button here and a couple of videos here to watch next. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.